Welcome to the NoDQ.com Wrestling Trivia Challenge, week two of the reboot, if you will. I am your host, West Coast Professor Jeff Meacham, joined today by two, as always, very capable contestants. First, we introduce the challenger because, well, that's how we roll on this show. He is, I don't have your hometown, I was going to do a big intro, I don't have your hometown, Rodney, so forgive me, but Rodney Holt is on, he's from, uh... Where are you from, Rodney? Kentucky. Kentucky. There you go, man. So you guys are uh, you guys are full on in the uh, in the in the in the hills there. Good grief. Hey, I am from the same hometown as Ricochet. Believe it or not, I dig it the most. I dig I dig Ricochet, and that's uh, th- that's a cool uh, stat to have on you. That's awesome. I love that. Actually, his son lives next door to me. Believe it or not. Well, then you must have a hell of a, a story to tell uh, once we uh. Once we conclude this broadcast, and we'll definitely uh, get into that in the future. Maybe maybe Absolutely. have you on uh, maybe have you on an episode of uh, Talk Wrestling down the line. We'll talk about uh, just wrestling in general. But that's not that's why we're work. here today. What we're here today for is to challenge the other gentleman in the window here. He is the reigning, defending, as of two years plus, undefeated, undisputed, NoDQ.com, and the Mark World Order Wrestling Trivia Champion. Greg Cherry uh, had a little controversy a couple weeks ago, but we're back here. It's a new month. It's May, and uh, we'll see what happens today. How are you, sir? Not too bad. And I don't know if I'd call it controversy. I mean, I had the match won already, so True. not really any controversy to be had other than Jeff didn't watch enough Sesame Street growing up. Um, so well, you know, <laughs> I, I, on... I'm in the middle of a promo. Give me a second here. <laughs> anyway... <laughs> Rodney, it's good to see you on the Trivia Challenge. I hope you give me a challenge. Um, the Ricochet story is pretty cool. I went to the same university as Kurt Angle. So, I mean, we both kind of have stories. But uh, we'll, we'll see what happens here. I hope it's another Let's go. Lest we forget Corey Graves, sir. Yep, I was trained by Corey Graves also. Yep. There you go. So, it's a small world after all. Okay, anyway. <laughs> so, same format as two weeks ago. 20 questions. First to 10 or best of 20. 10 seconds to answer each question. I will repeat the question if need be. Just to keep everybody clear, I've got the questions right here on the laptop in front of me. I've got the good old timer here with the infamous buzzer on my phone. And the score sheet is now laid out nice and clear for Sesame Street dipshit over here to lay out on my tablet. So, and for the record, Sesame Street only applies in wrestling when it comes to the death match between uh, Big T and Booker T at Super Brawl. So... <laughs> We've already been over that. I don't need to revisit. Yeah. No, and if, if, if I ever decide to watch any part of that show on Wrestling Rewind, or uh, well, actually, it wouldn't be on the, on the, old, the old school show because that's not Undertaker. But uh, on Rewind, just shoot me in the head right now. All right, here we go, Greg. Of course, you are the champion, so you go first, sir. Also, don't forget about the skips. We each get one. We did forget that two weeks ago. Thank you for reminding me. Each of you, in the event of a. Uh, of, of, a, of a necessity or a brain uh, gaffe or whatever, do have a skip entitled to you. One skip per episode. Once you use your skip, you cannot use the skip, and the uh, the other contestant cannot answer the skipped question to gain a point. So there's that. Let me go ahead and queue up the few questions now, since I forgot about the skip again, Greg. Thank you for reminding me. Let's. Uh, That's well, even know, comes into play. We'll see. That's right. All right, so we'll, we'll we'll go ahead and leave it up there just in case. But in the meantime, Greg, here is your first question here on, the, here on today's show. Question one. We all know Mick Foley is the only superstar to enter a single Royal Rumble match as three different characters. But who is the only superstar to have three consecutive Rumble match appearances as different characters? Ten seconds. Go. I want to say Albert because he was in a different gimmick for like four or five straight years. That is incorrect. Do you need the question repeated, Rodney? Uh, no. Okay, 10 seconds. Go. Kevin Nash? That is also incorrect. Kevin Nash was... In the Rumble, only as Diesel and as Kevin Nash, of course. 
The answer for three consecutive Rumble appearance ma- match appearances is Glenn Jacobs. Ah, okay. Isaac Yankum in 96, Diesel in 97. He didn't appear in the match in 98. He was at the Rumble event, obviously. And then he was in the Rumble match in 99 as Kane. Gotcha. I feel like that was a Travis Fame question to trip me up. Uh, actually, that was me. Oh, okay. So thanks for the credit. Appreciate that. Good times. Okay. Um, anyway, Rodney, question yes, two sir. for you, sir. Here we go. Which current WWE superstar was on the losing end of a six-man tag team match in the opening contest of Impact Wrestling's very first televised match? Ten seconds. Go. We're on the truth killings? That is incorrect. Greg, any question repeated? No. Ten seconds. Go. Who's the end? Um... I'm going to go with AJ Styles. That is the obvious and correct answer. Yes, sir. Yeah. yeah. And buzzer, shut up. It wasn't. It was, was it? AJ. Yeah, but AJ. Yeah, 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 yeah. I thought you said that was the obvious incorrect answer. I was no, super confused. Yeah, that's I said, what I yeah. thought. You said. No, I, no, I said that was the obvious and the correct answer. Oh. Okay. I apologize for stuttering. Apparently. All right. Super confused. It's okay. 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 We're, we're, we're just, we're, we're having a good time. The first two questions. Here we go. Great. Question yeah. three. Who did Rob Van Dam defeat in his final televised WWE match to date in August, 2014? 10 seconds. Go. Um, I want to say Alberto Del Rio. That is incorrect. Do you need the question repeated, Rodney? No. Ten seconds. Go. Jeff Hardy? That is also incorrect. The correct answer is Seth Rollins. Hmm. There you go. I'm doing well here. Okay. Rodney, back to you, sir. Mm Mm-hmm. Which two men both entered and left their final WrestleMania as in-ring competitors holding the WWF Tag Team Championships? Ten seconds. Go. Entered and left. (laughs) Time is up, sir. Are you getting the question repeated? Yeah, I think I do. Okay. Which two men both entered and left their final WrestleManias as in-ring competitors, full-time in-ring competitors, I should have said, so sorry if I didn't make that clear, um, at holding the WWF Tag Team Championships? Ten seconds. Go. I don't even have a guess. I got nothing. The correct answer was WrestleMania 1999, Owen Hart and Jeff Jarrett. Mm, okay. okay. Greg, back to you, sir. This is uh, this is rough status right now. It's all right. Yeah. Gonna, that's all right. We'll, we'll get there. We'll get there. Greg, back to you for the next question. Speaking of the tag team championships. Boy. Demolition held those championships, of course, for 478 days, which was a record at the time. Mm-hmm. Who beat Demolition for the WWF Tag Team Championships? Ten seconds. Go. I believe it was the Brain Busters. That is correct. All right. All right, Rodney, next question for you, mm-hmm. sir. Who is the first playable female character in a WWF WWE video game. Ten seconds. Go. Lita? That is incorrect. Greg, do you repeat it? No. Ten seconds. Go. Luna Vashon. That is correct. Nicely done. Oh. It was on WWF Raw back in the mid nineties. Yeah. I remember that because I had that game. <laughs> so, I still have that game. 
God bless you, Greg. I love you for that. <laughs> Greg and his gaming just just it just warms my heart. Okay. There we go. So back to Greg. Which was the first WrestleMania that did not feature the reigning WWE champion defending in the final match of the evening? Ten seconds. Go. WrestleMania won. That is correct. Yep, because Hogan was in a tag match. <laughs> that is correct. Yep. Rodney, sir. Mm -hmm. Who did Owen Hart defeat in the finals of the 1994 King of the Ring tournament? Oh, my god. Ten seconds. Go. Why do I want to say Razor Ramon? I, is, I'll go with that. That is correct. Yes. He's on the board. All right. If it helps if the damn thing would let me type. Come on. <sighs> Cursed all the damn tablet fields today. Okay. There we go. All right. Try to keep score here. All right. Back to Greg. It's well documented that The Undertaker has the most wins at WrestleMania. But which two former world champions are tied for the second most wins on the grandest stage? Ten seconds. Go. Two. Yes, sir. Um, John Cena and Triple H. That's correct. Nice. How many wins? Just, 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 one. Just, 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 just giggles. I want to say twelve. It's actually nine. Oh, okay. Oh. Cena's record is more lopsided than Hunter's, let's be honest. But Yeah. So, all right. Back to Rodney. Mm -hmm. Rodney, not counting the Fabulous Moolah's off-disputed lengthy reigns, who holds the record for a single reign as a WWE-recognized women's champion? Ten seconds. Go. Trish Stratus? That is correct. 448 days between 05 and 06. So yes, yep. for you marks out there, she was champion longer than CM Punk. Oh. Just well, saying. saying. You're not on the show for five months. Oh, <laughs> well, there you go. Exactly. That's it. Actually, I need to get rid of that. Hang on one second here. It's... Ah, fuck it. Okay. Okay. Greg. Yes, who was the first man to win the WWF WWE Championship outside of the Eastern Time Zone? Ten seconds. Go. Outside of the Eastern Time Zone. Um, Andre. That is incorrect. It, it, yeah. Indiana is actually in the Eastern Time Zone, believe it or not. Oh, please. Do you need the question repeated, Roddy? Uh, if you don't mind. Not at all. Who was the first man to win the WWF WWE Championship outside of the Eastern Time Zone? Ten seconds. Go. Hogan? That is correct. WrestleMania 7. One second. I just want to fact check you because I feel like... Well, uh, okay, I, I, I double-checked, fact-checked right before we went out on the air, but that's fine. You're right, it is. Weird. Yeah, I was unsure about Andre. That's why I double-checked, because I thought Indiana was, like, eh, close. So. It's okay. Thanks. All right, Rodney, back to you, sir. All right. Speaking of the WWE Championship, which of the big four WWE pay-per-views was the last to feature its first changing of hands? Of the WWE Championship. Oh, Ten wow. seconds. Go. I'm going to go with Survivor Series. That is incorrect. Greg, you repeated? No. Ten seconds. Go. I feel like it was SummerSlam. That is correct. 1997. I was going to say, it, it took them a while, because Survivor Series was 91, Rumble was also 91, 
and WrestleMania had a few before that. So, right. yeah, yeah, WrestleMania actually, if you want to count the tournament, it would have been four. If not, it's five. So, yeah, either way, it's before ninety one. Either way, it's four ninety one. That is correct. So, all right, all right, Greg, back to you, sir. With over 750 days as WWE Champion, who now ranks sixth all-time on the list of days held holding the WWE Championship? Ten seconds. Go. John Cena. That is incorrect. John is actually higher on the list Um, than this person. Would you like to have a question repeated, Rodney? Oops. Yes. With over 750 cumulative days as WWE champion, who now ranks sixth all time on the list of days with the WWE championship? 10 seconds. Go. Triple H. That is also incorrect. The correct answer is Brock Lesnar. He just I'm passed 750 prior to the massacre on, on PC Street. <laughs> All right. Rodney, back to your question. All right. After their final split from the NWA in 2007, who was Impact Wrestling, or TNA back then, who was their first recognized World Heavyweight Champion? Ten seconds. Go. Ken Shamrock. That is incorrect. He was the NWA champion. He was NWA. Ah. Greg, you repeated? Nope. Ten seconds. Go. My fellow Clarion alum, Kurt Angle. That is correct. Right. Yep. Yes. That was in 2007 because he won the 10 pounds of gold at sacrifice, but the split happened that same day, so it wasn't a recognized reign by the NWA. Mm-hmm. All right. Here we go. Back to Greg. With a U.S. championship victory just before the purchase by WWE, who was the final man to complete the WWE Triple Crown of the world title, the tag title, and the U.S. title? Ten (sighs) seconds. Go. The final man to complete it? Yes, sir. Uh, Booker T? That is correct. (sighs) He completed it at Greed eight days before the final Nitro. He must have, it must have been, he had like six TV title rings, but never the U.S. Right, that's correct. Mm. All right, Rodney, back to you, sir. All right. Who was the first man to win the Ring of Honor World Championship, the NXT Championship, and a WWE-recognized World Championship? Ten seconds, Go. Seth Rollins? That's correct. Yep. All right. Mr. Cherry. Yep. With a grand total of 23 championships recognized in six different companies, as well as two Hall of Fame inductions, which team is officially the most decorated American-born tag team of all time? Ten seconds, go. The Dudley Boys. That is correct. ECW, WCW, WWE, the NWA, on TNA, of course, New Japan, and TNA. Yep. All right. Let's uh, get that. I want that there. There we go. All right, Rodney. Here we go. Mm-hmm. Which celebrity inductee into the WWE Hall of Fame also played Major League Baseball? appeared in a number one movie at the box office, and was a spokesman for a major beer distributor. Ten seconds. Go. Pete Rose? That is incorrect. Greg, you need to repeat it? Uh, yeah. Okay. Which celebrity inductee in WWE Hall of Fame also played Major League Baseball, appeared in a number one movie at the box office, and was a spokesman for a major beer distributor. Ten seconds. Go. I'm trying to remember if he's in the Hall of Fame, but I'm going to guess Bob Uecker. Bob Uecker is in the Hall of Fame, and that is correct. 
dawned on me right after. All right, I remember something from our WrestleMania 4 watch along. <sighs> the horror, <laughs> the horror. We should not speak of this anymore. Okay. Greg, back to you, sir. And unfortunately, it falls on the, your favorite category. According to Spotify, whose theme used while he was WWE champion was called No More Words? Ten seconds, go. Jeff Hardy. That is correct. And if I'm calculating correct this week, that makes ten. Because we're at eh, 14. We're, that was question 19. So, yeah. I want to know 10 for shit, maybe not. <laughs> Fuck. All right, well, let, let, just, uh, ask, just ask question 20. Well, I'm going to ask question 20. Fuck it. Okay, Rodney, question 20. All right, let's go. All right, at 231 days, which team holds the record as the longest reigning WCW World Tag Team Champions? 10 seconds, go. Harlem Heat. That is incorrect. Greg, mm. can you repeat it? No. 10 seconds, go. I'm going to guess the Steiner Brothers. That is also incorrect. The correct answer is Hall and Nash. Oh, the Outsiders. Okay. okay. Five, four. I have 19. What the fuck? <laughs> How did I do this again? I don't know. You know what? We got through all the questions, so there's no controversy. No, but it's like, I know I didn't skip a question. So with a total of 20 questions now answered, Greg, he ended up with 11 because Jeff can't count. So the winner and still the undisputed no DQ wrestling trivia champion, Greg Cherry. Um, Again, Jeff can't count. Jeff needs Sesame Street lessons. But uh, there you go. You still won. So it's, yeah, there you go. Yeah, that's the thing. You, you, you miss count again. I'm going to call on Travis Fame to do this. Fair enough. Fair enough. But uh, Rodney, you're, you're a good competitor. You, you got some of the ones that I didn't. So, uh, yes. And there, there were a lot more misses than I thought, honestly. <laughs> right, I, mean, I will definitely let you come back. Hey, you know what? If we uh, if we get uh, elbows deep in the in the pool of uh, contestants and uh, nobody uh, makes it happen, we'll definitely uh, rear back around to you for sure. But thank you for coming on. I definitely want to get you back on just to tell uh, a, a ricochet story down the line for sure because I I'm intrigued by that uh, by that revelation. So very cool. Do you have any plugs uh, you'd like to give us? Uh, any plugs you want to throw out there to the masses? Ah, uh, nah, nah, not at this time. Just thanks for the opportunity. This was a lot of fun. Thank you, Rodney. We appreciate you being on. Greg, of course, throw it out there, brother. Yep, you can follow me on Twitter and Instagram. You're already on the YouTube channel if you're watching this. All Greg Cherry Brand. Buy a shirt, teespring.com slash stores slash Greg Cherry Brand. I got over a dozen shirts up there, a bunch of different colors. Go buy it. I could kind of use the money. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. The colors, all the colors. But uh, And stay tuned, of course, to NoDQ.com for your latest news and wrestling information. For Greg Cherry and for Rodney, I am Jeff Meacham saying we will see you in two weeks on the NoDQ Wrestling Trivia Challenge.